Hello, beautiful, blessed people. This is part two about why I don't eat meat or I gravitate away from meat. Now, okay, so uh, there is a process to slaughtering meat. There's a few processes. For people who are Muslim, they will not eat meat unless it's halal, okay? And the process, through my investigation and my research, I found out that halal is less about praying or uh, blessing meat, that it's more so about how the meat is slaughtered. So the halal process can be done by anyone, including a Christian, if this is done. So basically, you house the animal in an encaged or enclosed area so that they can't get away, and you sever the jugular vein. The problem with this is, is that the animal doesn't die out right away. It, it suffers. It, it, the, uh, the jugular vein is severed, but it, it's alive for up to five minutes. Five minutes, at least five minutes, the animal's alive, struggling. And you can hear it crying and making noise when it's uh, slaughtered this way. Now, the typical way of slaughtering an animal is basically you shock it unconscious and then you, you kill it. So it's a, it's a lie, but it's not aware of what's going on. So the issue that I have with the halal process is that um, animals can house demons. In the word, the Bible talks about how the, there's a legion of demons and a man, our Heavenly Father cast out the legion and the legion was, didn't want to go to hell and asked if, our, if uh, Yeshua could cast them into the swine. He was come out of the ship. Immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar, he ran and worshipped him. With a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High? I adjure thee, my God, that thou torment me not. Him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. There was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine eating, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And Jesus gave him leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea. For about two thousand and were choked in the sea. That the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country, and they went out to see what it was that was done. If an animal is scared, uh, angry, um, it opens a gateway. Those kind of things open a gateway to demons, right? So imagine the integrity of the meat that we're eating that's halal. If it's, a, if it's alive and it knows it's dying, it's suffering for five minutes, that's enough time for a lot of things to happen to that flesh. The Bible says that uh, it is very particular about what kinds of meat as believers were to eat. In relation to some animals we should not be eating, he, uh, it's forbidden. And the blood of the animal gives it life. And so the, an, the animal must be drained of the blood and I think that's where the halal process comes into play I think I believe that that's why they do it the way they do it like I said the, the only problem with that is is that the animal is alive for five minutes at least during this process so this is my issue with eating meat now like you could say you could avoid eating halal meat but there has been some controversial things happening around that now one Anyone selling halal meat because it's a religious thing, it's much cheaper to process and to sell than regular that you know regular meat that's in the traditional way. And a lot of fast food businesses have taken on have are, are selling halal meat because of that one thing because it is economically better. They don't have a, they don't have qualms with whether or not it's halal or not. If, especially if it's economically sound for them. So that's why 
uh, that's the second reason why I've stayed away from eating flesh. Now I have, like I said, I have eaten flesh and I sometimes uh, justify in my mind like certain things like turkey and lamb that are not common, like much common that I, I always think to myself it it's most likely it wouldn't be something that, you know, if it was going to be halal, they would label it as halal and most likely um, it's not treated so inhumanely because it's it's not uh, like beef and chicken are much more common. So like to, to produce it, it's mass produced and it's handled much more aggressively. Sometimes I'll justify that and justify eating meat in my mind that way. The safest thing so far has been to just abstain from eating meat as much as possible. And again, too, the addictive properties of eating meat, it's, it's very, it's extremely addictive. So what I'm going to do is to link uh, a few videos of the process of killing or slaughtering meat the halal way. Um, caution, okay, when, and hopefully the video, when you pull it up, it will, be, it will indicate that you need to be cautious of watching it. It is very graphic and it's uh, sad. I found it very uh, disturbing to watch the animals suffer. It's very inhumane. And like I said, I'm not vegan. I would eat meat if it, if it was handled in a different way. If it wasn't pumped full of hormones and antibiotics. You know, I, I, the Bible does say that we can eat meat. Do we need meat? I don't believe we do. I do believe that we are... Um, we are biblically we are allowed to eat meat but if we had no meat if we if you fast fasting resets our body and the, the nutrients that we get from things around us builds us back up again so as much as people are have been saying in my previous video that you need to have meat i don't believe that's the case at all i do believe that we can survive without it and i think you need to keep that in the forefront of your mind because um i linked in the other video that Venezuela is a place where right now they depleted the supply of stray animals and now what they have done, I've just, I found out what they've done, they've been going to the zoo to, um, to start to slaughter and eat the animals at the zoo. Right? What's the point of having a zoo if, you're, if the people in the, in the area are starving, right? Anyway, so that's that. That's number two. I hope that was helpful for you. Make wise decisions, pray on it. Secret Heavenly Father on it. I will link the scriptures in the description box related in the description box related to this, and the links to the videos as well. Remember, there's ca take caution in watching this. I would suggest that you would not let your children watch it with you. Watch it first, and then you decide whether or not your children are able to watch it with you. But do your research. This is really significant. Okay. All right. So remember, you are made marvelously. Our Heavenly Father loves you. I love you too, and our Heavenly Father loves you so much more than that. Until next time, be blessed.